Now I'd like to show you this darling quilt with Scrooge and Tiny Tim, our old friends that visit us every Christmas with a great story. God bless us, everyone. I think you'll have fun with this. He's carrying a darling wreath. His coat opens up to reveal a lot of Christmas inside. And I think you'll have fun, and this video should be a great help. Now make all your dimensional pieces by putting your a copy of your paper pattern on top of two pieces of fabric that are right sides together. Sew on the outside solid line, cut on the outside dash line and down the middle and you'll get this and then take your paper out like this and then turn it right side out. Now we're going to stack two together like this. You can stuff a little bit if you want. But what I like to do is do a little basting smaller than a quarter of an inch so it won't show in the seam. But that will keep your points together. These two come together and make the point. Now our other pieces are done the same way. A copy of a pattern placed on top of two pieces of fabric that are right sized together. Sew on the outside solid line, cut on the outside dash line. And you can set your stitch length a little shorter and that will perforate the paper and help help it come out easier and then um, you're going to turn it right side out. Now some of these pieces can be layered with thin polyester bonded batting. You can layer the faces if you want or the hat pieces or just stuff them. For sure stuff them. Uh, keep the stuffing away from the, the opening that's going to go in the seam and that will make it easier to put it into the quilt. And then when it's, once it's turned you want to press it so it's well defined. This is a little tummy and I'm going to stuff it a little bit more here as well. Okay now for the top part I've foundation pieced one through five using the color guide so you know what color goes where. Now with this side up I'm going to machine baste where the hat and the head go into the seam. That will transfer the location to this side. Then I'm going to place the head, the hat brim, and the hat crown a quarter of an inch above that basting and do the same thing with Tim. Okay, so he goes like this. His little thing is not symmetrical and then his hat crown. Okay, and then I'm going to pin that so it's all a quarter of an inch above that basting and it won't move. And then I'm going to take a piece of fabric uh, for background and place it right side down along that where a quarter of an inch above that basting and so the bulk of the fabric is opposite where I am going to uh, where it needs to be covered. Turn it over and sew that whole seam. Okay see now how the fabric has flipped back. Oh look it has a little bit of the salvage here showing but I'm not going to mess with it because I do have a quarter of an inch in there and these leaves are going to be placed in the corners so I'm going to kind of skimp on that. And then this really fun to use this doll hair. You can get it on the internet. You can get it in the craft stores. And I'm going to put his hair like this. And then I come up and down with a needle the same color as a hair and just catch all each of those, you know, as many of those little curls as needs to be to secure it. Maybe I'll make Tim a little blonde and do the same thing. And okay, so the nose is just a circle of fabric hand gathered around, stuffed with a little bit of batting, and then pull it tight. And then I'm going to go back and forth across to kind of close the hole. And then you smash it down hard against the face, and that helps kind of some of the wrinkles be hidden. Then as it rolls around, I'm going to blind stitch where the nose hits the face. And then Tim, his nose is too small, so I just do a little colored pencil for a little circle. Outline the mouth, outline, stitch the mouth. Now, uh, I taken out, after I cut it outside, I took off this top. And of course it's going to be reversed, uh, so I, I put it uh, so it's not reversed, so I can hold it up to the light. And then I'll uh, pencil in. Uh, God bless us everyone. And then with three strands of embroidery floss, I'll outline stitch that. So here we've done some details. Uh, seed beads for the eyes, outline the mouth. Here's a little lazy daisy stitch with some red beads. And um, to do Tiny Tim's arms, you take a square fabric like this, dimensions are in your pattern, fold it diagonal, 
and then again like this and like this and do two of them and then I'm going to just with the machine sew here on the open end and then there's a second arm that comes like this kind of behind his head like that and then Tiny Tim's body is just going to go right into the seam here and that covers up that right then his hand is a piece of felt cut and then I'm going to just blanket stitch his little hand right here. Now Tiny Tim's legs are two strips of fabric that are sewn together like that and press them and then I'm going to fold it together matching the seams okay so that they're exactly the same then I'm going to take the paper pattern and put it on top so that this line is matches the seam then I'm going to sew all the way around the outside solid line and take the cut on the outside dash line take the paper out slit one layer of fabric turn it and then stuff it okay here we've placed his belly and ribbon and then the coat pieces on top and I've just machine basted smaller than a quarter of an inch so it won't show when I do a quarter of an inch so that those will not move okay now we've got our two sides cut out of background and I've I placed the fabric right side away from the printed side since when we do paper piecing it reverses and so we went ahead and did this like we were going to paper piece so it would be right and then we just place the arms just on top as shown and then I'm going to sew these two to the side here we've got our jacket inserted and our little feet are on the bottom now with these sewn together we're going to put his little coat cape along that edge and then his scarf the part that wraps under his chin here and then we'll put these two together sew those two together uh, and then Tim's here's his little legs see how I slit right there turned them they're little tiny but they work and then stuff them and then they're going to just be top you know just blind stitched or tacked right here and then to make the wreath we've the dimensions are in your pattern made this tube and then we're going to uh, it's also stitched a quarter of an inch from one edge which makes a ruffle and then I've got this um, piping quarter inch piping that I'm just going to feed through and uh, I'll show you that finished okay now I've butted the piping together to make a ring and taped it and then I can scrunch the fabric around until it's really tight there and roll it over a little bit equalize all the fabric around this wreath it just makes a darling wreath and then I'll put a bow where that is um, seamed or butted together and then that little wreath is going to go here on his arm like he's carrying it you need to lift his little head when you put these two pieces together and then here I did another ball for the knot on his scarf and it attached his little legs and he turns out so cute and then here are the two leaves together I'm going to put those on the corners like that so when I put the border on he's going to have cute little corners now our quilt is finished I think you'll really enjoy this design Scrooge and Tiny Tim they're so charming you can open up his cloak to find Christmas inside little embellishment here with some lazy daisy stitches and beads beautiful wreath I love the corners with the berries and I just think this quilt turns out darling and I hope this video helps you